People giving their thoughts. Were you or were you not a better parent now to your kids than your parents were to you? 73% of millennial parents think they're doing a better job with their kids than their own parents did with them. Kevin crapped out himself. He's like, I don't think I'm a better parent. <laughs> I really don't. I, I don't. I, I can't. Can't make that uh, argument. I, you know, like I said, my kids have seen stuff, man. Uh, you know, it's, but look, I've lived a more exciting life than my parents did. My parents True. were very calm. There was nothing going on. They were always home. It was just, you know, it's kind of boring, you know, and I chose not to live that same kind of lifestyle. So, you know, there's going to be some bumps in the road. I think my kids, but I look at my childhood, my childhood was tremendously boring. That's why I had to get to South Florida. I look at my kids. I think my kids would be going, you know what? We had a pretty exciting childhood. You we were, did some things. They were out. You were a beast just waiting to break free. I was. I was a caged beast. He was repressed, a caged beast. <laughs> repressed for 18 years. Yeah, man. Then finally broke out. <laughs> And that's kind of what happens. So, yeah, so people are uh, letting out their uh, own thoughts about uh, whether they are better or not. One person said, my parents were definitely better than I was. They were married 54 years before my dad passed away. But not once in my entire life did I ever hear them fight with each other or argue. They took us to church. They never swore. My dad gave up smoking and drinking when my other brother, when my older brother was born. That's something, you know, the queen and I have, have had plenty of cocktails since the kids were born. And that, you know, might be the argument. Do you have to give up partying to be considered a good parent? And if you ever have a cocktail in front of your kids, can you have two? Or are you a bad parent if you have more than two? When they start noticing, I, I think right around six, kids really start to kind of get curious and start asking questions. Maybe, yeah. Well, how, old, how old were your kids when they drew you guys getting drinks together and that was their school assignment? The assignment was for them to draw the favorite place, their favorite place on earth, and one of the kids drew themselves sitting at the bar. At the ale house. At the ale house. <laughs> That's a moment for a family. For a parent. But it was her favorite place. <laughs> they loved going to the bar, Look, apparently. Uh, these kids loved happy hour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's why I can't I can't even come up with this. That's it. Look, I I appreciate you trying to pat me on the back, but yeah, I can't even hold a candle to what my parents did. When that happened, did they call you in about that? And did you feel bad or did you think it was funny? They they yeah, they called us in about that because what did they say? Well, they were just like, oh, what is this? Like, oh, we go and have dinner and, you know, things like that. And, so, <laughs> and we did, you know, to be fair, the kids got chicken fingers and all that. Sure. You know, but mom and dad had a couple cocktails. <laughs> you know, that's kind of the way it was. Uh, somebody said, uh, I agree, Kev. I was raised in a strict Catholic household. I rebelled like crazy and I was put out on my butt at 18 with two kids of my own. Now I envy my father. Uh, and how they raised this and for how they did it. But I know I have a better relationship with my kids, and they will actually come to me and talk about things that are bothering them. And to me, that matters more. And that is the ultimate question I have with my kids. I would have never gone to my mom and talked to her about some of the things that my older kids, who, by the way, are 26 years old today, would come and talk to me about. Oh, today's, today's their yeah. birthday. Today's birthday. Yeah, Colin birthday. and Caitlin. Yeah. So that, in a sense, that's the one thing I think I have with my parents, is that I know that my kids would come and talk to me. Well, I think that's majorly important, man. Yeah. yeah. So we they have know they can depend on you. Mm-hmm. They know night or day, big trouble or little trouble, they can call Absolutely. you and you're going to be there and you're going to try to help the best you can. I didn't have that with my well, parents. If you're old in, in your olden years, don't you want a connection and a relationship with your kids? I'm not saying you didn't have a relationship with your parents, but you didn't see them all the time. Mm-hmm. How, like how you see Colin and Caitlin or, right. or you know. Because you know, I moved away. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, I had to get out of there. Beast. Yeah. <laughs> but I would say the big difference between my parents and I is I could call them anytime, day or night, if, if I was in trouble, and they would come get me. But the next day, there would be hell to pay. And with my kids, I think the difference is I don't think I would hold that over their head. I would have a conversation with them about making good decisions and this and that, and I would leave it at that. Like, you're adults now. Make good decisions. And do you think that's not the right move? I think that that's the one thing that I think is different. And I do like my approach better on that respect. 
Because yeah, because might... they'll come to you. If yeah. you if you if you are ruling with an iron fist and you're going to scream at them for every mistake they make and you're mm-hmm. going to make it miserable, they're not going to come to you with the mistakes. There was always a punishment. They don't trust you. Yeah. yeah. You knew that you knew something was coming. So, and yeah, that's that's where I've been different. And some people say that's why our kids today are so soft. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can hear people typing. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs>